So when we start to look at the cartography as it relates in the cultures, the cultures are influenced a great deal by the geographical locations. That's how it is everywhere. Uh, high school uh, world civilizations will tell you that the first civilizations really centered around water. So that takes a big uh, chunk of what you got to do in the world building is how is the land playing into this culture? How is the land playing into the people? And then how is the land playing into the story? Uh, one of the, the great things about the that I find about the Carolingian Age series when I'm building these worlds is that the the world that they're existing in, like our world, is predominantly water. I love seafaring cultures. I have always loved the ideals. Growing up in North Carolina, you get a lot of pirate stories. You, you're fed pirate stories since the day you're born. Our one of our most favorite, uh, famous favorite residents is Blackbeard the pirate. So he, those influences really do come out a lot. That being said, what else can you do? What else can can you do that's outside the box? You know, does a Norse style culture really have to be always on the water? Can it be in the mountains? Well, there are mountains in Scandinavia. So can they be in the mountains? Sure, of course. You can make any culture anything you want. The rules are really what makes sense for your story. And that's what I love about this fantasy world building. One of the, the great things that I've always tried to do and always tried to really just impart in my stories is the aspect of, okay, where is this going and how will this affect the big picture? Um, some people are big picture thinkers. Well, great. How does this affect my, the big picture of my story, of my series, of the entire age? I mean, I like the, the interconnections that are built in. Some of them are organic and some of them, you, you have to really just put them in there and make them work. That being said, what can we then do as authors to continue it? and keep it going. Uh, I think that there's a great sense of camaraderie when we open up and kind of seek advice. There's tons of world building advice out there. And when it comes to mapping, which we're going to go ahead and get into later, there's a great community out there that, and even here on YouTube, on Twitter, that can really show you some just where can you go and, and what kind of influences and styles can you take from that. But I always bring it back to world building has to center around the people. That's the world. The world is the people. The world is going to be there no matter what. The people will make it interesting. And the cultures are influenced by the people and vice versa. So something to think on. Hope you enjoy that. Another one of my ramblings. So enjoy. Dun, dun, dun.